All right. Good afternoon, everybody. How you guys doing today? So this is your boy, Yusuf, the Metro Atlanta ham. And man, I just stumbled upon a great opportunity for um, a lot of guys in our community to start to save some money on a great outdoor tool for ham radio. We're having some slight te technical difficulties, but that's okay. Let's get a uh, grid tracker back up. Let's get WSJTX back up. One of the main reasons why I got into the whole tough pad idea was because a good buddy of mine, um, Sarge for UYE, Use Your Equipment, he ended up getting a Panasonic tough pad and he started doing soda and soda with it. Um, another one of the reasons why I had saw the tech prep, uh, they started to invest in a lot of the Panasonic tough books and devices of that nature in a variety of sizes. Me, the big deal was my Microsoft um, Surface Go. Every opportunity to travel, every time I got home in transportation, my um, my tablet was broken. It was over. That tablet now has been relegated to a desktop tablet connected to mountains inside my shack. So that's 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 kind of like the issue here, you know. But it also, and I also want to talk about the evolution of how we all started out with the Raspberry Pis. And the cost associated with the Raspberry Pis and accessories, but the Raspberry Pi's inability to deal with heat, water, um, weather, uh, maybe cold temperatures, and, and and its need for accessories to a point. Whereas if you buy enough accessories for the Raspberry Pi, you'll end up buying the Microsoft Surface Go because the idea was to be light when you're doing soda. So I found that the Microsoft Surface Go that I bought a year. Uh, I went to look and I found out that most of these off-lease tough pads are basically between $189 to $225. I've been very excited about my tough pad. And today's are about, let's say, $2,500 to $3,000 brand new. But if you can get an older model, maybe an earlier generation, maybe an i5, uh, i5 processor, who cares? We're only running WSJTX, GS, GSA call, FL Digi, and um, Winlink. So let's just talk about how awesome this is. Number one, the price. You can go on eBay. Um, I stay away from Amazon because they're about five or six hundred bucks. But you can go on eBay. Look at the Dell Latitude, the Ruggeds. You can look at the Panasonic Tough Books in a wide variety of sizes. You can also look at the GTAC brands. This is the F110 that I like to use, the one that I got. And let's talk about the reasons why. Number one, reason number one, battery life. Well, for me, I ended up being able to get two batteries with this device. So this device has two batteries. So I did a soda Sunday. I did two summits. I had this in my car since Sunday. I just powered it up to do this video and um, I'm still running. As a matter of fact, if I look in the battery usage, both batteries are at about 34% and I got about an hour and 21 minutes um, an hour and 21 minutes to to operate so this is awesome okay number two we were running our um, one gigabit processes one gig processes with the Raspberry Pis okay this is I think this was an i5 2.4 gig uh, processor 8 gigs of RAM at uh, 4G, uh, I think we were running 512 megabits of Raspberry Pi devices. So, I mean, eight gigs of RAM is probably about probably about 230 bucks on Amazon. So, for me, this was a no-brainer. Okay, look at this GPS. Now, I don't need GPS accessory because, believe it or not, this device came with a built-in GPS. So now all of you guys who are concerned about GSA call time, you're concerned about time-sensitive um, operation, these tough books, when you get them, they have a great Bluetooth, weather-resistant, and check it out. Check it out. $9 and $225, and you get this 10-inch machine. This 10-inch machine, if this isn't built for um, soda and poda, I don't know what is. You got to get them now while they're on e while you can get these tough books because here's the deal it's kind of like the oldest game in the book you can go to your local swap meet you can go to your local ham fest computer guys for decades have been buying off lease devices from um school boards police municipalities fire departments 
uh, and things of that nature. This is the uh, GTAC F110, guys. This is i5 process, 8 gigs of RAM, 4G LTE, 256 solid state drive, two batteries, GPS. So those of you who are asking what this one is. But the oldest game in the book is parading system on it and selling them in his mop pop computer shop. It's nothing new. But it's an opportunity for operators to save some money um, when and, and also improve their gear, improve their kit. Anything you can do. I mean, and we have a bunch of different uh, de varieties. I preferred the GTAC because for me, the GTAC model that I was able to purchase offered an i7 processor. Now, here's the deal. Like I said earlier, these devices brand new are like 3000 bucks. I also have HDMI. And so one mod that I ended up doing, I ended up taking and getting a $12 uh, USB device that I got from Micro Center. So this allows me to connect my device. It also allows me to connect. Tell me what your guys' thoughts are about this. Do you got any questions? What you keep? You know, you, you keep what you kill. I'm the type of person, I bring a chair, I bring a pair. And I think these are weighing in about two and a half, three pounds, maybe lighter. That's okay. Because with my Microsoft Surface Go, it was lighter. But it wasn't a dang on um, uh, uh, VGA, and I'm running it in my shack. Check it out, though. If you guys saw last week, I was able to run, you know, RT systems and do some field programming of the uh, of the Doomsday Radio, the 857. So I have a full Windows 10 PC in my hand with desktop specifications that's waterproof, mil spec ready to rock and ready to do your soda, your polder, or whatever type of outdoors activity that you want. Because for me, bringing these types of devices in and outside of backpacks, man, that was torture. And I felt that I lost. I felt that I lost greatly with the Microsoft Surface Go. So I'm going to say don't buy the Microsoft Surface Go if you're an active backpacker, active soda guy, active polder guy, coming in and out of your car, or older guy, or veteran, or somebody who's on a fixed income. You might be able to find one of these. Now, the cons. This is as is. I accept it for what it is. It is as is. But at 189 bucks, 200 bucks, you know what I mean? If I can get a year worth of usage out of it, I've got my money considered USB 3.0 on it. I had to go USB-C to USB. Um, that device was about five to 600 bucks with the keyboard. And it broke. It kept breaking. It broke every time. And let me tell you, when an expensive device like that, every time it broke, I felt terrible. I felt like I wasted my money. So, you know, this is key. This is pivotal for amateur radio outdoors. GTAC, Panasonic, Dell uh, Latitude Rugged. If you can find an off lease device to add to your gear, to add to your kit, these devices also have extended batteries. These devices typically come with Windows 10 Pro. These devices come with LTE. I mean, it doesn't get any better this, than this, guys. So I recommend it highly. For that guy who can only afford a 6100, and this device here, he has a computer for MCOMs, he has a QRP radio, and he doesn't need to buy uh, IC705. But let's continue. IC705. Imagine, you're using this wirelessly. I got this to work um, wire wirelessly about a week ago, maybe two or three nights ago with my IC705. So now imagine just sitting at the park, sitting up like Julian, with your tough pad, sitting in your lap, eating some chow, making some coffee. And um, you're operating. Also, I like the idea of a Bluetooth keyboard. Sometimes I deploy that, but here we go again. I want to use the pen. This device does come with a pen. Batteries. This is a no-brainer for ham radio. This is a no-brainer, guys. Buck shipped to your door from your uh, your local refurbished refurbish tough pad shop. So you know that's pretty much it. It doesn't get me um complicated. I think I'm going to set up and maybe do some wind link. Let's see how fast we can hit. I got to check a few wind link messages while I'm waiting. And this device is very, very flexible for me. But 45 auto, I mean, it's a good deal, bro. 200 bucks max, top, top end of it. I should have been doing some wind link while you guys were here with me, while you guys were waiting. So we're going to set up our wind link. Uh, remind me later. Restoration. Let's open up a session. 
And hey, man, while you guys are at it, go ahead and send me a uh, Winlink message. Maybe I can get it. K4, K-H-O at winlink.org. Right, so I got that successfully open. Let me make sure my audio ports are as they should be. PTT, I don't know what that is. All right. Two. All right. Boom. Pow. Man, you do. It, it's a no-brainer. Shop around. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. This device is rugged. K4, K-H-O. That's my call sign. session. Yeah, I mean, well, I'm not going to make this video too long. I just wanted to get my point across that this is where it's at, guy. Tough pads. Tough pads for ham radio. Get them. Get them while they're hot. Get them while they're cheap. And enjoy. Go out and use your equipment, as my good buddy says. And K4, KHO, I'm going to go ahead and say 73 to you guys. Keep on hamming. Man, please, guys, send me the win link. As a matter of fact, once I get off this video, I'm about to do a little chase, a little um, I'll be looking for a CAD5, uh, Sierra, X-Ray Echo. I'll be looking for it. Yeah, hit me up. Uh, I left a link in the bio so that you guys could take a look at um, one of the options that I chose. But hopefully I've given you guys a cheap alternative to support your equipment. So this is K4K show and I want you guys to keep on hamming. Um keep hamming on. And um hey, I'm ready. I'm ready. No problem, guys. That's what we're here for to make the hobby easier. Everybody isn't sitting on mega bucks. Let's make it uh, I want the I want this message to go out to all the disabled uh veterans, all of the guys on the fixed income, all the young hams, all the new hams, all the hard work and apprentices out there. Um between this and the 6100 or a Zegu G90, you got a full MCOM kit, HF MCOM kit. And um, this thing does everything that any of your shack computers are doing. All right, K4KHO. Keep hamming on. 73 guy, 93. See you guys.